Hello, this is Lisa Shea, and these instructions are for an origami flower. You start by folding your piece of paper in half diagonally, with the side that you want to be on the outside of your flower on the outside of your fold. Fold the opposite diagonal in, so that you're forming a smaller triangle. Give each of these creases a nice sharp crease, because that will make a big difference in your finished flower. Lift one of the points up towards the ceiling, put your other finger in, and then you're going to squash the top point straight down to the bottom point that was beneath it. And give this a sharp crease in both directions. Turn your piece of paper over. Give this other side a little crease so that it points straight up at the ceiling. Once again, point it straight up at the ceiling Put your finger in to open it up, and then fold the top point down so it meets down to the bottom point beneath it. Get that to line up, and give it nice sharp creases along either side. Now note that there's an open side and a closed side to the shape that you've made. So you want to make sure that the open side is on top. Fold the left and right sides of your piece of paper into that center line. So now you're going to fold the other side into that center line, and you want the open side to be on the top of the shape, and the closed side of your paper to be on the bottom. So that's how the one side looks. Turn your piece of paper over. Again, fold the two edges into that center line. Give them nice creases. I'll note that the flower is not one of the more simple shapes, so practice with some of the other shapes before you try to attempt the flower, because this can be a little challenging. So the open side is at the top. Now we're going to do the same thing to four different pieces of paper here, or the four different sides of the paper. So open up one of those folds that you just made. Put your finger into the center of this fold, and then push the top center line straight down onto the bottom. So if you look at this from the side, that top center goes straight down onto the bottom line. And this flattens into a diamond shape. You're going to see this three more times, so if you didn't see it clearly that time, one of these other times might help you. Take any of the remaining pieces, point it so it points up at the ceiling. You give it a little crease on the opposite side. This helps it point at the ceiling more easily. Put your finger inside to fluff it out and then press that top spine line straight down to the line beneath it, and then give the edges a crease. So we'll do this a third time. Look for another one of those folds. Open up the fold. Give it a little crease so that it stands up more straight. Get it to point up at the ceiling. Put your finger inside the fold to get it to fluff out and then fold it straight down so that top line presses down against the bottom line. Give them a nice crease. And there's going to be a fourth one in there somewhere. Just keep looking through the little pages of paper until you find it. Give it a fold so that it stands up. Put your finger inside to fluff it out, and then press that top spine straight down so that it lands on the center line beneath again some nice creases so that the shape works out properly. So this is what you've got right now. And you could just flip through it like a little book. So it doesn't matter where you start this next part because you're going to again do it four times in a row. We're going to fold the two edges, the little short edges, into the center line of our shape. So just fold it into the center line, give it a crease, fold the other one into the center line, give it a crease, and we're going to do this all four more times, so you'll get good practice at doing this. Find another open area, fold it into the center line, fold the other side into the center line. So that's two out of four. Flip through your little pages until you find another area that has a diamond. Once again, fold the two sides in so that they 
fold in more neatly. And there's still one left in here somewhere. So track it down. And then fold the two sides in. Okay, on to the next step. You're going to fold this. So you're going to undo one of the sets of folds you just did and pull out on the center piece of paper gently. Now this needed to be creased well for this to work. As you pull out, the two sides of the piece of paper are going to come in towards the middle naturally because the piece of paper is not stretchy. So as you pull down, the other piece of the paper will fold in towards the middle. I'm doing this slowly to try to show you, but as they come in, you give a little crease underneath the part you're pulling down, and that will fold down flat. And you'll see that that folds down into a triangle shape on the bottom, and the two edges will come in along that proverbial center line, and you will get a flat end result. I know this may seem confusing, and again, it might be better if you start with the crane or some of the other shapes to get the hang of this kind of a fold. But we'll do it three more times so you can watch and see how this works. I'll try to hold it a little differently this time. You pull on the center flat piece. That makes the two side pieces fold in towards the center. You get a little crease underneath what you're pulling so that it can fold down flat. And if you push that crease into the right spot, it'll all fold down and make a diamond for you. This might take a couple of times to practice, and make sure you're using origami paper because it's thin and it will be able to do this kind of fold. Regular paper might not be able to fold this way properly. So again, pull on that center piece. The two edges come in to meet up at the center line. The piece you're pulling will move down flat and will end up being a flat diamond. So we have one more left to find. Find the one remaining unfolded piece, open it up, pull down on that center vertical stripe, give it a push to get the two sides in, and we'll lay down flat with a little bit of finagling. So that was the hardest part. Fold up each of those four points that were pointing down, just flip through and find them all, and fold them so they're pointing up. One left in here. All right. Next stage is shaping the bottom of the flower. Find an area that has no folds on it, so one of the flat faces. Fold the bottom left in and the bottom right into the center line, and we're fold forming the base of the flower here. So find another side that's flat with no folds. Fold the two sides in to that center line. Find another face where it's flat and pull the two sides in to that center line. And find the fourth face where it's flat and pull the two sides into the center line. You are now pretty much done with the flower. So now we just have to get the petals out. So fold one petal down, pull the second petal down. And yes, we fold a third petal down, and a fourth petal down. Now in this shape, this is an iris with straight petals, but you can also do a lily with curved petals, just by curving the edges of the petals with a pencil. You stuff a pipe cleaner in the middle. Sometimes if it squishes a little, you just flip the pipe cleaner over and the other side will go in a little better. And this is the stem for the flower. You give a little twist at the top to keep the flower attached to the pipe cleaner. And you're set. You can make bouquets for, for decorating your home. I'll curl on the underside so you can see a little how that looks, but usually you do that with a pen or a pencil. That gets it to curl a little better than just a finger, but you get the general idea. Please visit lisashay.com for more information. And I hope you enjoy making yourself some origami flowers. Thank you very much.